Hello, I'm Gursharan, an architect and designer from New Delhi, India. I have been working professionally in the field of architecture and communication design for the last five years and have now stepped into expanding my vertical as an environmental designer. The statistics presented in the study of outdoor or thermal comfort in the urban open spaces of New Delhi are based on typical urban settings in one of the 17 district centers in the city. Utilizing the computational tool of NVMIT as a base to analyze typical summer conditions and to investigate the potential impact of all the factors on outdoor thermal comfort. The strong impact of urban vegetation, pavement albedos and facade greenings are also highlighted. Growing cities and economies have a drastic impact on the future of the earth. New Delhi being one of the prime cities having a boosting economy and an ever-growing population faces the challenge of rapid urbanization without considering the environmental implications. The city has particularly been exposed to high level of pollutants and the hot and humid climate from the months of March till October make outdoor urban areas highly uncomfortable and non-existent. A constant surge is also observed in the PM 2.5 levels in winter months. The study projects a strategic toolkit to mitigate the impact of rising thermal discomfort and pollution levels with the help of simple nature-based solutions. This can work under the smart city umbrella as a subpart to tackle against the existing impacts on the built environment or as a base case to be implemented in ongoing projects. The study also speculates future climate scenarios which will see a rise in average temperature conditions and precipitation graphs of the city. Thus, designing for the future is now more important to discuss and take actions for. The simulations and site observations showed a clear decrease in UTCI temperatures in the plazas and internal streets by up to 3 degrees while areas under shade further drop down by 2 degrees. The analysis has been carried out into six scenarios with revised design interventions that are based on rigorous on-site and analytical analysis of local microclimatic conditions as well as investigation with the end users. Climate conscious and low cost solutions are adopted in these plazas and streets and their efficiency aided with the help of analytical simulations using NVMIT. The effect of vegetation was the most successful in mitigating the high temperatures. Improving the urban albedo decreased the surface temperatures but showed an increase in the surrounding air temperatures. Green roofs and facades greatly helped reducing the surrounding air temperatures but failed to do so in plazas or streets with a greater height width ratio. Combined effects of all the three interventions proved the most successful in reducing the UTCI heat stress from extreme to strong and in 25% of the plazas and streets from extreme to moderate heat stress. The toolkit and design interventions could further be applied to the similar district centers and urban fabrics all along the city to have a major impact in the overall climate resilience. As the fight for breathable and comfortable open spaces is common for both developing and developed nations, the study could further be carried forward and the learnings could be well adapted as per the needs of the space.